Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Fair warning. If you are one of those declutter fans where you just feel so satisfied watching those declutters where people throw out half of their makeup, no. I'm not doing that today. I spent too much money on my collection to do that, especially, you know, with me being newer-ish in the last couple of years to make up. The majority of my makeup, it's not old yet, so I still want it. Something that I also didn't mention is that I'm constantly going through my makeup drawers anyway. Like, my makeup drawers don't sit still. I play with makeup, I swatch makeup all the time, hence swatch and sip. Like, I'm always up in my makeup drawers. So if there's something I don't want, like, I kind of get rid of stuff one by one all the time. So that's also another reason why it seems like I'm a weak human being. Like, I am weak, don't get me wrong. I have hoardish tendencies, absolutely. But it's not as bad as you think, okay? It's just, it's not. I'm not going through my palette drawers because I always mill through that, but we're going through my makeup drawers basically and I'm just picking out all of the old stuff or things that I really just don't want in my collection. You guys have been requesting a declutter like so many times and um, this video is going to disappoint you, but you can't say I didn't do it. <laughs> anyway, so if you just want to hang out with me, look at makeup, look at my messy makeup drawers and look at me picking two items out per drawer that I don't want, then just keep watching. All right, so the first category we are going to tackle here are primers. I keep them both in here. So let's see. So I have a big bat strobe cream and a baby one. I'm going to put the baby one in my kit. I have a baby wonder glow. I have another big one in the other drawer. So that's going to go in my kit. And then I have two Becca backlight priming filters. This one is empty. So I'm just going to throw this guy away. And then I'll keep this one just in case I ever need it for a video. Of course, keeping this. I think mostly everything in here yeah is worth keeping like i said guys not a big declutter in here should kind of be the same sitch because primers aren't something that i got into until recently so this one this is a charlotte tilbury magic cream this is all dried out so i'm gonna empty this and i'm gonna keep the jar for my makeup kit but obviously that's being decluttered it's all dried out i have a sample of I don't even know what <laughs> so that's gone this guy is so close to being done you guys and then i can get rid of it i'm not overflowing with primers in my opinion all of these are relatively new i am going to get rid of this blurring primer from cover fx it just does nothing for me except sit in this drawer so that's going huh i have a sunscreen in here i need to move that somewhere else we have another becca primer what is this? This is the first light priming filter. Another one. Okay, going away as well. I put all of these samples in my makeup kit to see if I like them on a client. Keeping this, I'm so close to finishing this. Milk Hydro Grip Primer, obviously keeping this. So I have a couple of little Smashbox Photo Finish Primers. Honestly, the regular original, this guy, I've had for a while. So I'm going to declutter this. This is really old and I never used it. This guy, I'm keeping that's relatively new. This is $60, so I'm keeping that. This is a really good primer. And then I actually have not used this. This is the Touche Eclat Blur Primer from YSL. I'm definitely keeping this super luxe and I can't believe I've never even tried it. So I need to put all of these small ones close together so that I use the baby ones because it's easy to forget about the baby ones. So I'm going to put these back. Um, from primers, I've managed to declutter all of the samples basically in one full so size. Here we have all of my drugstore foundations. I definitely have not gone through this in a really long time. This I'm getting rid of. This is the Neutrogena Protect and Tint Tinted Moisturizer. I've only used this once, so I'm going to give that away. And I didn't like it the one time that I used it. This is great. This is great. Most of this stuff is pretty good. I have this Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I got it 
last summer when I was in Spain and it's just not that good. So I'm gonna give this guy away. So the rest of this is all good and fresh and ready to stay in my collection. So immediately what I'm going to get rid of is this NARS tinted moisturizer. This is a really great tinted moisturizer. It has great coverage, but this I got like four years ago. So that needs to get out of here. That's trash. I'm considering repurchasing that because it's really, really good. I really, really hated this foundation. This is the Giorgio Armani uh, cushion foundation. It just is dry and gross. So I am going to declutter this from my collection, but I am keeping it like in my room in the case that I do a full face of makeup that I hate because I want to put this foundation on anybody else anyways and it would go in the trash either way. So I'm going to keep it in gross products that I hate but I'm keeping just in case. <sighs> I'll keep that. I don't really like that. I think everything else should be solid. Those are products that I remember to get rid of. Mm, I'm thinking about this one. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation. There was balls in this one, but I liked the coverage on this. I'll use it one more time and if it's just not worth it. I'm getting rid of that This too. one's kind of just a random drawer of mostly bases and overflow. So I have like a couple face oils. Immediately, I'm getting rid of the NYX eyeshadow base. I used it in my most recent pastel tutorial and it's just not good. So that's being thrown away. Keeping that, keeping that. Never know when I'm gonna need that. And then I'm getting rid of this old Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This has seen better days. I love Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've just had this for forever. So I'm gonna trash this and everything else is pretty new and fresh and worth keeping like I already have like this baby ready to go in replacement of that I've never tried this I need to try that okay so everything in here is good to go I also have my eyebrow drawer so I have these touch and soul pretty filter brow expert pencils I don't really like these. I think the colors are really weird and unwearable, so I'm going to get rid of these. I have a lot of Sigma brow items that I need to use. They were sent to me. I need to use those. I'm trying to think, is there anything in here that I just don't want and will never use? Okay, so I'm also getting rid of the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Gel. This is pretty much empty. I use it every day for work. I really like it, but it's seen better days and it's old, so goodbye. The ColourPop Brow Boss Gel has also seen way better days. It's almost empty. I've used it to almost nothingness. So this one is going to. And these are both unopened. I bought these when I liked pomades and now I don't like them anymore. So they sit back there. I need to get back into pomades because every time I use them, I'm like, dang, my brows are banging. But I keep a lot of brow products in here and I have some of different colors that I need to throw in my makeup kit. So okay. I just went through my powder drawers. They're really big, so I didn't pull them out. And plus, most of the powders I'm keeping, but these are the ones that I'm decluttering. This is the Too Faced Prime and Poreless. This is really old. I don't even think they sell it anymore, and it leaves a horrible white cast on my face. And then this guy, I have a fresh one already, and this is just gross. <laughs> and then the NARS Powder Foundation. I mean, seriously? Seriously? I'm just, it's wasted space. It really is. I'm dreading my concealer drawer because there's just so much that I know I'm going to keep. And it's been a while since I've been through here. The ones at the bottom are the ones that are going to be hard. But immediately, I'm going to get rid of this Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. This is really dry. Like, so dry. <laughs> keep, 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 keep. I'm considering decluttering this Catrice One Drop Weightless Concealer because I've never even used it, but maybe I'll do a full face of products I've never used. Okay, this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, I don't know how many years old it is, but it looks like it's seen better times. So let's get rid of that. This Physician's Formula Instant Ready Full Coverage Concealer. Oh, I've never used that. Hold on. What am I doing? I'm getting rid of this LA Girl Pro Conceal. This was an okay concealer. I would consider repurchasing this just because it's so affordable, but mine is like old because it has this horrible brush tip that I don't want to deal with. So we're going to get rid of this one. Nothing else is expired in here. Just making me realize that I need to use some certain products more. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up and put the bottom concealers at the top. So I start grabbing for them.
that didn't work. Okay, let's move on. So when I was going through like my cream highlight and blush drawers, everything was worth keeping because I'd only just gotten into cream blush. But I've been into cream contours for a while and I've been holding on to this Dior, Dior blush light and contour stick. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And I never used it because I loved it so much. I never wanted to run out, which then I just ended up never using it. <laughs> And it breaks up my foundation now that the formula has changed, but this was the best for such a long time. But it's so old. It has to be like five years old. See, I'm debating about these two. Mm, this, okay, I'm going to keep these. These might see their way out the door soon. They need, no, they still feel really nice and creamy. Hmm, okay. The only one that I'm really contemplating is this one. I haven't used it in a really long time, but it's not old. It just was a little bit harder to blend. It looks like poop. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okie dokie. So this is the only blush drawer where I was like, okay, I need to go through that. And immediately I want to get rid of this Pacifica highlight duo that I, or blush duo that I got in an Ipsy. I just never use it. The colors are beautiful though. This sleek blush trio, I have an ABH one, which is basically identical to this. So that's gonna go. I really like this stuff. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this drawer. Here is a highlight drawer worth contemplating. It's all high-end stuff, so I don't want to get rid of it, but I know... I did see one that I want to get rid of. Where is it? Oh, right here. This is going to stay in my room, but not in my collection because this is really bad and I just hate it with a passion, so this will probably be on a video one day in the future, but this one's going to go right along with the Armani. It's just Natasha Denona. This is not good. Anything else? I think everything in here pretty much checks out. Oh, Albatross from NARS. I've kept this for nostalgia purposes. This is my first ever highlight. It's gotta go. It's old. She old. So we're good. With so that. my eyeliners and mascara, I actually rotate through pretty regularly. So I'm not as worried about these. I recently just went through and throw away some old mascaras because I'm fearful of old mascaras. The only one that I'm going to throw away is this ColourPop brownie mascara. It's brown and it's not a good formula. I just liked it because it was brown, but I've had it for too long, so that's going to go. This one's on the edge of being decluttered and... I like this one though. I really like the brush on this one. Ah, it's basically empty. We'll throw this one away and that way I can open up a new one anyways. Yeah, okay. Cool. This drawer is good. We threw out a couple. I don't know why, but this is also some eyeliners. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna get rid of this Wet n Wild H2O proof. I buy this every couple years because it's major nostalgia for me and it doesn't- actually, you know what? This is good. Don't listen to me. Elf one, it's a dollar, but it started to get icky, so that's being trash. Pat McGrath is kind of all- is this dried up? No? What? Okay. I have this Hank and Henry liner. Ew, that's dry, bye. Hmm. This is gone. That Kat Von D one is gone. Um, this is old as all get out. This has to go. And this I bought recently, but it kind of sucked. Wasn't good. I'll give it another chance, but I didn't like it when I got it. I have this Crayola Beauty Mascara. Never used it, and I just opened it, so that was really smart of me. Um, okay. I think we're good. Everything here is good to go. So that's eyeliners. Okay, one more eyeliner drawer that I forgot about is this one of relatively old products, but mostly not. Let me kind of weed through and see what we have. This is good. And this NYX Wonder Pencil is old as all get out. And you're putting it inside your eyes. This has never been used. I don't even know what this is. This is like, has to be like 10 years old. This is from a super old limited edition Too Faced palette. This is old. Okay. I think everything, I don't even, beauty for real. Bye. Uh, what about this? Do I need this? 
It's a white pencil, I'll keep this. Everything else in here checks out. Now let's move on to a dreaded drawer of mine. My liquid lipsticks, you guys. It's just filled to the brim, ridiculous. Literally so ridiculous. So let's go through it. I have all of my Kaleidos, which I'm keeping because Kaleidos is the life. I keep these crazy colors because I'll use them as a liquid liner sometimes. So that's kind of my rationale. Fenty, of course. Oh my gosh, this was it for me in college. Keeping that. Keep. Oh my gosh, why am I like this? Why am I like this? Oh, this is Chanel. It's so old though, but it's Chanel. Keep. Keep. Honestly, I need to go through and declutter these Kylie's because they are like old <laughs> and all dried up. They still smell good though. I'm gonna keep them for display because I have a whole display of these. But more Kylie, I love her colors. Getting rid of this, never use that color. This is pretty, okay. <sighs> Here's a Ciate glitter flip that took all my money. Okay. So it's time for me to say goodbye to my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I bought these in college and they give me really good memories, but I think I need to uh, declutter these because these are like five years old. But my favorite shades, in case you're wondering, Nosferatu, Lolita, this color is ugly, and Bow and Arrow. Honestly, might have to repurchase these colors because I loved these. Here's another drawer. These are lip glosses. I'm gonna get rid of these Too Faced Melted Chocolate lip glosses. Just never use those. I'm not gonna get rid of a lot because I actually did kind of go through this already when I was cleaning out my makeup. Most of these are staying, guys. Yeah, this is probably nasty. This is a Stila, like, glitter topper. That looks dried out. That needs to go. Um, nobody liked these, so let's get rid of that. We'll never use this color. It's a lip bling from Tarte, but that's kind of ugly. How does this smell? It smells bad. It's gotta go. No, it still smells like delicious caramel. <laughs> Gonna get rid of this Smashbox metal lip. I know I have all these weird purple colors, but I'm keeping them to one day wear with my crazy purple colors because I do use them for tutorials. I got rid of some, a lot more than I thought I would because I'm so attached to lip glosses. By the way, these aren't all of my makeup drawers. These are just ones that contain things I plan on getting rid of. Like here are some higher end lipsticks. I wanna see if some of these still smell good. Yeah, Spirit from MAC, smelling a little old, so that's gonna go. That means I have to smell most of them, dang it. My goodness, Viva Glam Miley Cyrus. Do you know how old that is? It smells really fresh though. Ah, keeping it, um, Whirl. This one has to be old, yeah. So unfortunately, Whirl has to go, it's old. What about Mare also? Like these are heck old. Keep, 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 keep. Okay, I really don't care about Urban Decay lipsticks. Mm -hmm. No, I never use it. And this, ew, there's like, can you guys see that? There's like stuff on it. Okay. No more Urban Decay lipsticks in my collection. No, this one, I don't know. So these are all new. These I like because they're NARS. Like notice I haven't really pulled out that many luxury stuff because it was so expensive. Ah, uh, these are relatively new. Um, I mean, this was from my senior year of college, which was two years ago. These are fine. Yeah. I'm gonna keep these because I never know when I'm gonna need these colors. They aren't hurting anybody, they're small. Now these guys, on the other hand, this is where we're gonna get um, ruthless. These are so old. I used to love the NYX Matte Soft Creams. As you can see, I bought their holiday stuff. I just have collected them. I'm gonna keep this Maybelline lipstick and spice for me. I don't know how it got on this drawer, but the rest of this has got to go. I really do like these, but it's just, they, they're wasting a drawer. Mm, this one smells good. Okay, I'm gonna pull out a couple colors. Like, I like Los Angeles. <laughs> All of these big ones, though, they are super old, so I can't keep them. But the little ones, like these, these ones are more fresh. So, okay, all of these, I'm just gonna... That was really smart. 
really, really smart of me. I did a quick go around at my setting sprays. So I'm getting rid of the Milani Make It Last because uh, there's nothing in there. And then I have this Skin and Co Radiant Dew Spritz that I think I've used once and I just don't want it. Okay, dear friends, so this is my failure of a declutter. Really just kind of looking at my makeup drawers and pulling out the old makeup. Really, um, yeah, you guys have been asking for a declutter. So, hi, I deliver. Don't say I didn't do it, but I told y'all I can't declutter, okay? Oh, wait, okay, let me show you my face, but I just wanted to show you the gold that we have to show you, listen, like I did declutter some stuff and most of it's old, so don't ask me to give it to you, okay? Okay, one. Sorry, I got out of the shower. <laughs> this is why I didn't show my face. But anyways, um, that was my declutter. You guys have been highly requesting declutters. You know, I spend all of my hard-earned money on makeup. I do receive PR, but not really. <laughs> like, I barely get any. Seriously, most of this is stuff that I've paid for, that I've worked for, which is why I'm stingy about decluttering unless it's literally disgusting. I always am coming up with new video ideas so I never know when I'm gonna need it and no nobody needs as much makeup as I do but it makes me happy I throw it out when it gets old I love makeup even though you know there are some makeup pieces that even though I don't necessarily wear them I still love on them because it makes me happy to surround myself with makeup but yeah okay give me all the hate comments you want that's fine but I do feel more cleansed though because a lot of the stuff that was in the drawers is stuff that I've been eyeing to throw away but I haven't yet so I just kind of want to film doing it so you could get a closer look at my drawers we could hang out a little bit look at makeup that's what i like to do i like to look at makeup even if i don't use it so i hope you guys enjoyed the worst declutter on the internet i'm not sorry about it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys got something out of this video i don't know but i will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one